Ladies and gentlemen, the Beatles! Oh, and it's ground zero with an elbow drop off the top turnbuckle! <laughs> Vincent Price and Mutual of Omaha present Wild Kingdom! Break it down! Degenerate into... Hit the... Okay, Mr. Dracula, I want you to open wide and say, ah. Everyone knows to dial 911 in case of emergency. Everyone knows that a 911 operator on the other end will dispatch police, fire, and medical personnel to rescue you. Well, unless you're black. Few, however, know what happens to the strange calls. Calls of a supernatural nature. Like this one. Phone home. These calls are referred to a covert agency known as TRACKS. Rift TRACKS. TRACKS is an acronym for Trace, Research, Analyze, and Exterminate. We were going to call it the League Against Beasts Infiltrating America, but the downside to that was the acronym was LABIA. ...investigate mysterious events of which the general public has no knowledge. From this point on, you will deal with the TRACKS interface computer. I will turn you over to it now. Back up. Welcome to Tracks Interface. You can think of me as a digital ghost. I'll think of you as Cortana's ugly sister. Tracks officers you will deploy. I will offer you options for deployment. But as stated by the Tracks charter, you, a living, non-tainted human, must make the decision. Oh, believe me, I got a taint for you. Your options on the screen, like this. As the decision becomes more urgent, the colors will shift from green to yellow to red. If you do not select an option in time, the officer will select his own. I do not recommend this. Trax doesn't exactly hire college graduates, if you know what I'm saying. And please stand by for the next 911 referral. Oh man, Terra Trax is giving us all blood tests to make sure we're untainted, but how am I supposed to pee in something this small? Well, how you doing, partner? The name's Graves, and I guess you and I are going to be working together tonight. Which, of course, means that uh, you get all the thrills while I take all the risks. Hey, wait a minute. Well, Agent Steak was Malibu legs. the whole time. First off, you got your basic crucifix. It's garlic. Which is most excellent for dispatching <laughs> fang jobs, and hairballs, and fighting. Don't use the Star of David. The Jew God is bogus. Except you got salt. For rotters and various other undead, and of course... Tastes great on fries. Your holy water. Don't leave home without it. The one time I loaded holy water in a super soaker, that was so triumphant. Now I'm locked and loaded with 45 caliber silver specials. The idea behind these beauties is that they will get you dead. Even if you've already been that way. And, uh... Rub them on my gooch. Put all kinds of nasty business in these hollow points. And you've got to look back. Dear God, my retinas! <laughs> uh, let me see. What other cool stuff can I show you? <sighs> These babies are my heads-up shades. I got them at Sunglass Hut. They're Oakley's, dude. You got radio, seed, cam, and mic. Ooh, and it even goes ping. I'm sold. Did you hear what I hear? See what I see? They got autofocus and eye track and spectral enhancers so you can see the things that go bump in the night. Yeah, and it's got a digital camera too, but it's only like 1.2 megapixels, which kind of eats, but you know. That's a little beauty here. It monitors my heart rate, stress level and temperature, and a bunch of other stuff that we don't even need to go. Officer One, uh, stand by. Uh, Looks like we got some incoming, so heads up. And remember one thing, pal. The life you're risking is mine. What? Sorry, I wasn't listening. I was looking for the suicide button. 911, what is your emergency? All units, we have a domestic in progress. Proceed to Chris Brown's house. I'm here to help. Terror Tracks, the game of incoherent yelling and annoying sound effects. Tracks, use of word vampire indicates possible extraordinary circumstances. I accept mission. I decline use of definite articles. Dispatch operative to location, or B, reanalyze phone call. Are you ready? 911, what is your emergency? Help me! 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 Help me
I'm easier. No, uh, yeah, man, I've tried that one. Really, baby, I swear I didn't know she was a hooker. The blood is mine. Angelina, give Billy Bob his blood back. Blood oath is an oath that all vampires take never to reveal the existence of vampires. It transcends personal animosities. Phone call terminated. They also take an oath only to play baseball during thunderstorms. Officer at the apartment of Vivian Kloss. Prepare for broadcast. All right, Trex, I'm stepping off the elevator, and I'm making entry. Now we got a dark apartment, and I got a bad feeling about this place. It's even worse than I thought. All this furniture is just so tacky and cheap. Who the hell are you? Hold on a second. Out of He's got a stranger in my way, sir. Officer. Uh, I'm okay, Trax. I dodged that damn needle. The bastard ran right through that sliding glass door over there. Oh, man, that boy must be dumber than I thought. Yeah, you'd have to be stupid to mess with a guy as badass as me. I mean, I could have taken him, but you saw it. He got me by surprise. Watch your broken glass up top. And down on the bottom. You can cancel the search for the missing glass, Trax. I found it. Repeat, I found it. Man, that must be a three-story drop track, so why don't you send out a coroner now? Check that. Send out a garbage collector with a hefty bag and a spatula. Wait a second, there's, there's no body down there, tracks. Should I go outside and look for him or stay here and check out the apartment? Why is he so surprised that guy survived the fall? He kills vampires for a living! Alright, tracks. I'm gonna motor outside the apartment and see what we can see here. Alright, I'm directly below the window on the parking garage driveway. Plenty of broken glass, but no road pizza. Wait, broken glass? I think we may be close to finding the track of the vampire. Uh, Try to run me over. And I didn't get a license plate. Here are your options. The word. Hey, wait, at what point did I miss the option to use my crucifix or my garlic or my handgun? Officer Graves has acquired Dr. Hemos and is following him. I will patch you into him now. Alright, Hemos is ahead of me and he doesn't have a clue that he's being followed. He drives pretty well for a vamp on Bloodlust. Alright, let me get a lock on him. Now you must admit his tailing technique is flawless. What with him cleverly hiding behind the no other cars on the road? Six, six. Look at figures. The vehicle is registered to Dr. Fetus Hemos. Home to our files. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Hemos, it's a boy. What are you going to call him? Oh, I don't know. How about Fetus? Fetus Hemos. You are authorized to track and observe Hemos, but do not take violent action against him. Gee, how'd I know she was going to say that? I hope this does not prove too great a disappointment to Officer Graves. Nah. And like all cops, I just love seeing killers go free. Frankly, Trax, if I'm not gonna bag him, I'd be better off searching that apartment and finding out what crime he just got away with. Trax Command, we have received another 911 call. Oh, come on, I gotta take this one too? What, did everyone else call in sick this weekend? And I will patch you across. I will put another Trax officer on standby to receive your orders. We will rejoin Officer Graves at the next opportunity. The following emergency call was forwarded to us from 911. Really? Because I thought it was forwarded to us from the Butterball Turkey Hotline. Second tracks, Officer. I will monitor Officer Graves and break in when appropriate. Yeah, 911, what's your emergency? Now, this isn't paranormal activity. My mom made this call two, three times a week. Hold your eyes out? Well, that guy's got some optic nerve. Uh, Ma'am, listen, help is on the way. Please keep talking. Uh, okay, ma'am. Trax, I'm referring this call to you. We accept case. I'm also dispatching paramedics and police. Our officer will vacate scene before they arrive. So wait, Trax has better response time than the paramedics? Hi. My name is Allison Walken and I'll be your guide for this evening of death and destruction. I understand that you're our new Trax commander. Well, we go through Trax commanders like whales go through plankton. 
Anyway, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. I am not like Graves. I am not a psycho. I might find that a little easier to believe if she wasn't currently giving that gun a hand job. Right now, would I? But the deal is, I want to know who I'm killing before I kill them. That's why I got kicked out of the Air Force. That's the difference between me and Graves. Anyway, the next time I see you, I'll be at the crime scene. I am patching in Officer Graves. We will return to Officer Walken when she arrives at the home of Nicole Novak. All right, I'm stepping off the elevator. Well, Officer Wannabe, why don't you go get it done, pal? Hey, fuck you, Malibu! Yeah, it's really dark in here, but I refuse to turn on the light switch. That would be cheating. Oh, dear God, Trax, forget the vampire. This furniture is the real terror. Where did she get this stuff, Big Lots? Nothing of any... Wait a minute. We got a cold one on the floor over there. Looks to be like a female in her late 20s. Beautiful. Once was, anyways. Better call in the meat wagon, Trax. Tell them we got another 1082 on our hands. Looks like that damn Ben Affleck's done it again. Check for fangs. This is the part of my job I absolutely love. Oh, PMS, am I right, fellas? Huh? Ah, oh, even though I'm a professional vampire slayer, this attack caught me completely off guard! Oh. Checking heartbreak. I'm okay, Trax. I don't know how, but... Uh, I'm alive. She could have killed me, but she didn't. Must have been my charming good looks. But why did she attack me anyway? I mean, I was just trying to help her, and this is the fangs I get? Thank you! Oh, looks like we had a romantic night in progress. What a couple of saps. <laughs> Giving a girl flowers and having a romantic dinner. That is so gay. Now, what do we hear? A doctor's bag. Let's take a peekaboo inside. Blood bags. I didn't know the hospital made house calls. You'd think those would be convenient, but I could never get my straw in those little juice bags. Here's and scalpels, man. All the usual fang job party favors. The usual party favors? Are vampires that well known for carrying around scalpels? Prescription bags. Dr. Petus Hemos. Select option now. You may ask yourself why he became a specialist in hematology. Well, he originally wanted to be a dancer, but when your name is Vetus Hemos, some choices are just made for you. It's why I changed my name. My parents kind of wanted me to be a proctologist. That's why they named me Jimmy O'Buttocks. Hold on a second, I hear something. Nah, it's just a sizzling ciggy. What? <laughs> Never met an undead who didn't puff. Okay, a cigarette wouldn't make that kind of sizzling noise if it was made of bacon. Alright, I'm searching a purse. Mmm, bacon cigarette. Yeah, big book here. Check today's entry. <laughs> oh man, this chick sure had a lot of days. Different guy every single night. What a tramp. Yeah. Please ignore sexist attitude of officer. Let's see what he got in the goodie bag here, your usual bag of tricks. Yeah, let's see. Condoms, lube, anal beads, D-cell batteries. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, there's a paycheck from the late date dating service. I get it. She was scamming losers who can't get real dates. Same kind of losers who watch Let's Plays instead of meeting girls. Work the swing shift? My love life used to do the graveyard shift. Can't date until real late. I thought it was too late for me. Handsome Tom! Late date. Call late date. And find the right mate. Call late date. The later, the better. 1 800 L A T D A T E. And that, my friends, is how I met my girlfriend. <laughs> she was the nurse at the free clinic I had to go to after I went to late date. Okay, tracks with the late date corporate headquarters. <laughs> what an ashtray. Businesses crawl off and die in places like this. Like this game has. All right, you want me to check it out, or you want me to head in there and do some business before they get wise to me? Ladies and gentlemen, the director's house. Not the choice I would have made, but maybe you know what you're doing. Oh my god, it never ends. Just look at this cheap door, would you? All right, let's go on inside. Hi, I'm Carnoia. Welcome to Late Date. For a great date, we accept cash only. Now let me ask you a few little questions. Oh, wow. Oh, sorry, ma'am, but this is how it works. Oh, crap. Where's the button to keep looking down her blouse? Where? What do you know about Vivian Cross? Now keep on answering until I tell you I'm not interested anymore. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't think I could do that. Well, then get me somebody who isn't brain dead. Oh, dear. We could be here a while. Dr. Hemos. You know who this is? He's a tracks officer. Get him. Hold it, pal. So that crucifix and the garlic and the holy water, he just had none of that ready, huh? Okay. Officer 1, 
dead. The lesson there, Agent Snake fights like a girl. Okay, Drax, I'm walking around the building. The place is lit up like a Christmas tree from hell. Because when they celebrate Christmas in hell, they decorate their trees with whores. Babe on the phone. Blowing smoke at some rube was too cheap to pay for a house call. <laughs> like live webcam sex shows. You ever do one of those? Oh, they're great. You log in and there's this really hot chick there. And then you can type stuff into the chat window and then she'll do it. And if you pay extra for the premium membership, sometimes there's more than one chick there. And then you type stuff in and then they'll do lesbian shit to each other. Oh, it's so awesome. You should really try it out. Oh, um, oh anyway, there's stuff going on. Hang on. I see it. No, I see a shadow. No, wait a minute. There's two shadows. Looks like a... Could be a couple of females. Oh, oh, start the recorder. Start the recorder. Yeah, there's definitely some kind of funny business going on in there. Let's get the surveillance vision out and uh, see what we can see. Hold on. Uh, nothing. I must be getting spooked. Let's, let's dial this in real quick. A surveillance camera? Torgo tracks. Track of the peeper. <laughs> Oh, he going. Hey, Trax, that's, uh, he's getting close. Something too is hard about, and I can't resist anymore, so I go for his check him up, but it's dry. And then he starts getting freaked out on me, screaming at me about breaking the blood oath, whatever that is. And I said, hey, listen, if you're one of us, I didn't know it, but he just lost it. I don't know how you make a story about vampire hookers boring, but they pulled it off. And you called 911 at that point? Well, yeah, what else could I do? I mean, I would be chilling in some dumpster right now if I had to. Ah, crap. This time of night, all the bars are closed. <laughs> Impudent American bastards! <laughs> Chef Ramsay when he gets off work. Those stupid donkeys! Help me to snag him before he gets in there. You're under arrest! What is the meaning of this? I have done nothing! What, now is he German? Or is he trying a different accent in every scene? Shut your pie hole and suck fish now! Officer, please, there must be some mistake. I have... Oh, come on! Dude! Graves, you suck! Snake! Vital sign. Snake! Terminated. Snake! Tracks last chance. Hey, jerkweed! Up against the wall, you're under arrest. What's the problem, officer? If you try anything funny, I'll turn you into a torch. There dog. must be someone mistake. I haven't done anything. I have no criminal record. Please! And now my accent's totally different. What's going on out here? Hey, that's the guy I tried to charm. Oh, 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 oh surrounded. Ah, if only I had some kind of weapon. <laughs> oh, you fiends! Oh, stop breathing under my glasses! You're fogging up the lenses! Officer One Heartbeat has stopped. Well, it's not my fault! Officer One, yes. dead. I'm kinda glad he's dead. He's trying to bug me anyway. <laughs> that does not negate the fact you owe me a refund. Oh, we don't owe you anything. What's the big idea trying to rip a fellow vamp? You should know better. I dislike the tawdry manner in which you operate in this country. What did she think she was doing, calling 911? Okay, I'm seriously having flashbacks to Manos the Hands of Fate at this point. We have only been undead for a month. That is no excuse! Hey, it's 1990, not 1890. The Blood Oath is history. When we're finished slurping, let's just trash this place. But Manos loves women! She will grow up to be a woman! It's not easy to get a refund from a prostitute, and believe me, I know. Uh, that's why I never pay him in advance. And uh, I guess while I'm on the topic, it's never a good idea to ask to see the prostitute's supervisor to get that refund. Hi, I'm Karenoya. Welcome to Late Date, sir. For a great date, we accept cash only. Um, excuse me, sir, you can't go in there. Move, bitch! Get out the way! That's the guy from the apartment! You should know that gun is useless against us! Don't play dumb with me, pal. You know who I am and where I'm from. Only question is if you're going with me dead or undead. Oh, unless I'm quite mistaken, you don't have any victims, and you don't have a case. Tonight on Law & Order, Special Vampires Unit. Taking you to the lab. Fuck it, get him! They're attacking Trax! Oh, the camera! Freeze, pal! Thrill as vampires spontaneously combust by vague, poorly explained means! Well, Trax, late data's out of business. This case is closed. Big time. Not quite, Officer Graves. Please pursue Dr. Hemos. When fangs are present, he is in a dangerous state of bloodlust. Please do not terminate him until I grant official authorization. Officer Walken has arrived at the home of Nicole Novak. Wait, Walken? Prepare to take command. Yeah, well, no problem beating those cops over here. 
They're never around when you need them anyway. These guys, unfucking believable. What do we have here? Oh, that cute little suburban dollhouse. Yeah. Oh, a topiary tragedy. Isn't that special? Oh my god, a lightning monster just ripped out this poor woman's eyes and you're mocking her shrubberies. Check the door. Oh crap, it's unlocked. I hear a staticky electrical sound. I'm smelling some burning wire or something. Oh, well, it looks like little Susie Homemaker's too busy bleeding out her eye sockets to go get herself a Glade air freshener. Isn't that special? This doesn't look good. This I mean, artwork, it doesn't look good. You gotta stop him. You gotta stop him. Where is he? Oh, oh, that sizzling sound. Oh, That's him. <laughs> Marty, I got the 1.21 gigawatts of electricity I need. You know this ain't the way I like to do business tracks. I'm gonna use flash and sound suppression. It was a bold decision on the part of the game designers not to let the player see, hear, or comprehend anything that's happening on the screen. The flash seems to be hurting me more than the bullets. What the hell? I might as well undo my clip. Yeah. Either he's just charging her. Oh my god! Here I thought the hookers at late date overcharged people. Thank you! Life functions failing. Hey, relax, handsome. I'm not gonna shoot you as long as you start talking. You know, you ain't got no right to kill me, kid. I just told you what's my voice stolen from me. What is he talking about? Whoa, whoa, way too close. Way too close. Okay, for those of you who didn't catch all that at home, he said... <laughs> I thought you were a cop. Well, I'm not the normal kind. If they ask, I wasn't here. Don't worry, I didn't see you. Uploading relevant information on Otis Lee Suggs. Whose footage was taken minutes before he was executed in the electric chair for multiple counts of first degree serial murder. You notice the floating head kind of teleports around like Ganon from the Legend of Zelda cartoon? I'm a killing machine. That's what I am. That's not my fault. That's what my mom and daddy made me. And I'm gonna keep on killing till you kill me. And I made you. They made me. Sorry, that was a clip from Natural Born Killers. Thugs in Novak home. I tried to do a video review of Twilight, but this is how it came out. We believe that he was reanimated by Dr. Hemos after his organs had been donated to medical patients. It appears he is now trying to retrieve them. I think we just found the plot to Crank 3. A list of organ donations. His eyes were donated to Nicole Novak. His heart was donated to Gary Linhart. His kidneys were donated to Roscoe Sandefur. His wang was donated to Hayden Christensen. Officer Walken has reached Metro County Hospital. You got it. We're trying to find the Ripper, starting with the first victim, Renee Stein. She's an editor over at Knopf. He's coming to get a liver, only this time with a lot more splatter. Nurse, I need to find Gary Linhart's room. I'm sorry, ma'am. Visiting hours are over. Yeah, that's great. I'm not here for high tea. I'm trying to prevent a murder. Oh my god. They cut the power? What do you mean they cut the power? They're fucking animals, man! Said, where's Linhart's room? Linhart's room! Oh, geez, she's useless. You gotta love a nurse that's so cool under pressure. Oh my god, the power's out! Somebody call somebody out! Where's the kidney ward? The kidney ward! End of the hall! Jesus, everybody daft around here? Yeah, what kind of jackass doesn't know where the kidney ward is in any given hospital? <laughs> Idiots. Sounds is very near. I can feel it. I can smell it. Oh, come on, I can see more of what was going on in the audio CD version. Josh! Tell me where you are, Josh! Tell me where you are! This looks like the end of the hall. Damn these hospitals! Why in the hell do they make these kidney warts so hard to find? Oh, it looks like the end of the line for Linhart. 
Feels like a fresh death. Terror Tracks Part 2. Live organ transplants. Then... Who's this? It's a me, Mario. Can someone get to the doctor? Corpse City. Why so serious? He kind of looks like Pris from Blade Runner. Wow, he did all this in like 20 seconds. Primary arrest. Skull crushed. Spinal column smashed. And that's just a fraction of what I'm gonna do to you at WrestleMania, Hulk Hogan! Good choice. Not much I can do for a corpse. See, this is why good monster slayers carry katana swords. Aside from the coolness factor, you can chop this guy's legs off. I think we just found Pat Buttram's long lost brother. Officer 2, dead. Shocking, isn't it? Transmitting live heads up from Officer Graves. Well, tracks, as you can see, I got Hemos locked in my sights. Looks like we got a little nasty crash and burn going here. I wonder if he's gonna pull over for a drink. Eh, guess not. Well, okay, Tracks. If I can't kill him, what am I supposed to do when I nab him? Haul him over to Bloodsuckers Anonymous? Okay, Snake. Why don't you just leave the jokes to me from now on, okay? Probably been doing this for hundreds of years. Officer Graves, I now rescind the non-extermination order uh, on Hemos. You're talking, babe. You are authorized to exterminate Hemos. Ah, <laughs> sweet Though deal. it would be of some interest to interrogate him. Shoot later. Ask questions first. I think I know where he's going. Background briefing on Hemos available. Uh, who needs a briefing? You got an extermination order. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot the guy in the face. It's best if I don't get too attached. The following information is extremely sensitive. It will be Whoa, lady, you left the parking brake on. You're getting way too close. Help me now! Order. Oh, wait, no, that's not vampirism. Those are signs you're addicted to World of Warcraft. And here's a photo of Dr. Hemos in the middle of watching Two Girls, One Cup. Headline Weekly World News, Batboy Found in Cave. Trax first became aware of Dr. Vetus Hemos in 1987, after blood was reported missing at Metro County Hospital. Yeah, Dr. Vetus Hemos, huh? You know, the only other worse vampire alias he could have chosen would have been, like, Dr. Acula. Proposition. Whoa! Uh, now, come on! That is just not fair! He would provide vital information on vampiric activity. We accept it. Statisticians have noticed a significant drop in so-called serial killing since that time. Oh, so Hemos was a narc? Wow, it's just like that movie The Departed, only with vampires, and it's, you know, crap. Oh, and yet closer, man, back off. Zordon never pulled this shit. Of attacking tracks. Hemos has violated our agreement. Therefore, you are authorized to exterminate. It is of vital importance, however, that you locate his laboratory and neutralize it to prevent the escape of other creatures like Suggs. Officer Walken has reached Metro County Hospital. I'm not dead. I'm getting better. I'm entering Metro County Hospital. Oh, jeez, this place is the best argument for staying well I've seen in a long time. Keep taking those chewables. Is she speaking English? Are we supposed to understand this? Where's the ICU? I'm sorry, ma'am. Visiting hours are over. That's great, but this isn't a trick question, Einstein. Oh, why would Einstein know where the ICU is? Everyone remain calm. There is nothing to remain calm about. Tell everyone to panic. Do it now! She a lot of she is. This is pure chaos. Winding through hallways. Stupid hallways. I don't even like them. It's a sign. This is it. Yeah. It's the room. Out of my way. So there's no backups or fail-safes on any electrical systems in the hospital. If the power goes out, I really hope you weren't on any of the important machines. If Suggs is on the loose, I'm gonna slide on the good old silencer and flash suppressor. I want one of these crusters to pop a pacemaker. Blah, 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 Dennis Miller, wisecrack, cha-cha. Ooh, wow, ooh, 
doggy, you don't look like any nurse has been in here before. Well, now, if you ain't the prettiest thing I ever seen since Mrs. Haney on her wedding day. Out of here, sir. Ain't nobody know how nowhere gonna run me off. On second thought, run! me one too many times. Need some advice, tracks. This is what happened when Emperor Palpatine had to go to the hospital for his kidney stones. <laughs> now you're gonna find out how I felt when I got fried. Forget the gun, douse him. Anything sparking that much, he's a good fan. Ah, so the intensive care unit in this hospital is located right next to the ice machine. Tracks, I think Suggs is running out of power. If we're gonna nail him, we're gonna nail him before he recharges. Bear in mind the previous ineffectiveness of your silver special. Yes, but I'm all out of water. Where could I possibly find more of that? Yeah. Officer Graves taking out Hemos's car. I knew he'd show up here. Old abandoned buildings. Been hearing creepy stories about this place since I was a kid. I'm gonna smoke this fang job as soon as he gets out of his ride. Okay, now his car turns into a robot! Mm, he's not getting out. Damn. Alright, Trax, you want me to go up there and toast him or wait him out? Think you know it's gotta worry about sunrise, not me. Yeah, he'll be out in a minute. He just wants to sit there and hear the end of Hey There, Delilah. Okay, Hemos, you're coming out of the car. Hey there, Delilah. Either flesh or flame, you decide which. Personally, I like a good smoke. All right, no answer. I'm gonna burn this creep. Beware of trap. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Hey, I'm gonna go Rodney King on Dr. Homos here. Get out of here. Ah, uh, track. Send help. It's in my hair. It's in my hair. Turn the heads up on here. I'm gonna try and track it. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah, that's what it is. Ugly sucker. Well, if he can turn into a bat, why does he bother with a car? So he really can't turn into bats. Maybe that's what happened in the Vivian Claus's apartment. This is like someone used Sega CD's Make My Video to edit together a horror movie. Looks like it's time for a little skeet shoot. Sure. Agent Snake, who's been beat up by girls three times tonight, is going to shoot a bat at night in mid-flight. Tracks command. Officer Walken is pursuing Otis Lee Suggs through Metro County Hospital. Yeah, I told you I'd find him. The wheels of justice may be slow, but they're moving, Quinlan. They're moving. Observe the sanctity of civilian lives. Well, why should I? Nobody else does. I think she was quoting President Bush there. Someone's coming. It's just a surgeon. Woo, yeah, that would have been close, except for the fact the guy I'm looking for is made of lightning! <laughs> But I hated to toast a candy striper. This isn't a puzzle! He's made of lightning! Another one. Dr. Jesus! Hmm, that's a handsome face. That would have been a shame. Ah, carrot top! Waste him! <gasps> it sucks. Get him! It didn't do much good, but it was fun to watch. Oh, must recharge. Must have sex with power outlet. Transmitting live from Officer Graves. Officer Graves, be prepared to meet Hemos in any of his potential forms. Mm, looks like I just walked into Psycho Central. Felt like you get a whole lot of science done here. I don't know what Hemos does here, but I know it ain't covered by Medicare. Real nice. What do we got in here? Oh, lovely. Spare body parts. You really ought to keep those in Tupperware so they stay fresh. So we get the head of the operation. Yeah, but I bet he's a real pain in the neck. Hey, I got a million of them. All kinds of obscenities. It smells real nice. Let's check them the hallway. Nope. Wait a second, what was that? Footsteps, maybe wing flaps. I don't know which way they came from. Terror tracks. You might as well just flip a coin. Hemos, is that you? Could you go get me some tacos? Oh, and don't forget the hot sauce. If you forget the hot sauce, I will have you obliterated. Yeah, it's a labyrinth down here, tracks. One trash room after another. Kinda reminds me of my apartment. Wait, the severed head in the middle of the room and the fridge full of body parts reminds you of your apartment? What? Oh, I thought I heard something. Warrior, you think you hear something in the darkness. I set upon it with a vengeance. Dexterity die? Well, how do I find out what that one is? Wait a minute, there he is, Trash. Jesus, the fuzz! After him. It's crucifix and silver special time. <laughs> Okay, this isn't a sewer level, but I'm gonna say it's close enough. Damn, I lost him. Alright, Trax, I'm going down this corridor after him. Yeah! Officer Would Gray. you stop that? Be careful. Officer Walken is pursuing Otis Lee Suggs in these tunnels. Yeah! Do not mistakenly kill her. Aw, oh, don't worry. If I kill her, trust me, it'll be totally on purpose. Walken's camera. I'm following him down the stairs, Trax. Oh, jeez, he's still got plenty of spark in him. 
I don't know whether we're going to the lab or to hell. I think being killed would slow this guy down somewhat, but geez, it's the best thing that ever happened to him. He could take a parkour. There he is. I'm following. Come on, Sucks. Man, this is so exciting. I'm so amped up. I mean, I'd like to find this guy, but I don't know his current location. <laughs> Hey, this guy's faster than Grease Lightning. Hey, you might as well call him Usain Bolt. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, he's a fast runner. No, he hates the terror tracks. Don't be precious, Carl. Oh, I almost got him. Oh, he's at a dead end. Yeah, I don't know. Either choice sucks. Want me to extinguish him? No! <laughs> And Terror Tracks officers get beat up more than the chubby ginger kid at Dodgeball. Our physiological systems <laughs> operational. Where did you learn to fly? Oh. You bet your ass I can. If he didn't kill me, he's in worse shape than we thought. You know, if you kind of squint your eyes and pretend this is the Death Star scene in Return of the Jedi, it's almost fun. <laughs> it's not fun. It sucks. Dreams are getting real close to Ground Zero. Officer Graves and Officer Walken are in very close proximity. To limit risk of friendly fire, we are authorizing tracks officers to operate under auto command. Oh, guess you don't need me then. I'm out of here. We will return control to you as soon as possible. I will transition between the two officers' cameras to best illustrate the operation. Admittedly, this is where the whole POV gimmick kind of falls apart. Sounds like Suggs has already got himself strapped in. There he is. He's charging up. Walk in, watch your back. It ain't gonna happen, Hemo. That's ah, Teraptus. Jump in, Graves. <laughs> now you're working together. Ah! Patching in, walking. Power! I'm gonna blast that power source. Yeah. Yeah, dead. Just like the jury ordered. Oh no, Graves is down. Oh man, he's knocked out even worse than when he kicked himself in the head playing human cannonball. Come on! I take back all those nasty things I ever said about you. Oh man, I took the most excellent hit of my life. It was certainly worth staying alive for. Let's get the hell out of here. Go to the beach, grab a brisket, oh, beautiful rush. babe. I'm fine now. Sweet. Send in the uh, dino squad. Yeah, wait a second there, Tiger. We gotta get a hold of some eyeballs for Nicole Novak. You have eliminated the succubi. Hemos and Suggs and both officers are still alive. L -l Look at you, hacker. A pathetic creature of meat and bones. I would recommend a full promotion for you. What, did he accidentally drive to Saudi Arabia? Okay, Trax. I'm here at Metro County Hospital. It's a big old place from here. It looks like a giant tombstone. Officer Graves, please enter the hospital. You know, if I didn't know any better, I think it was at the morgue. Hey, mister, if you're going to the morgue, can you take me with you? I'm basically dead already. This place looks like it's on its deathbed. Yeah, I need some help, hey, lady. Excuse me, sir. You'll have to fill out this Why don't form. Don't you save a tree, sister? I'm not here for treatment. I'm looking for Dr. Vetus Hemos. Dr. Hemos is no longer affiliated with the hospital, sir. Yeah, let's see. How else can I be a douchebag? <laughs> I'm not supposed to talk about it, but... Oh, my God. The motion sickness. Is Agent Snake having a grand mal seizure? He's doing some very controversial research. Yeah, move, bitch. Get out the way. I'm telling you this. And I'm snagging a card. It saves our conversation. Anyway. Sorry, ma'am, I'd get fired for telling you. Please don't tell anyone that I told you this. Am I alone in thinking that Agent Snake has some serious issues with women? Adios, muchacho. Officer Graves has arrived at the alleged address of Dr. Hemos. Yeah, good thing Hemos listed his mad science lab as his mailing address. It wasn't a long trip. Straight next to the hospital. I'm sure as hell isn't the part of the place you see in the brochures. Oh, sorry, am I rambling? Yeah, I tend to do that when I'm hunting deadly vampires. Mm, this must be what happens if your insurance isn't paid up. Snake's really trying to break into stand-up comedy. He's just doing this to pay the bills. All right, Hemos. I'm here for my checkup. Oh, are we feeling brave tonight? 
How brave? Brave enough to do battle with hideous monsters? Shortest hmm? Shortest wait I've ever had in a doctor's office. Come on, wait a second. Don't worry about a thing, Officer Graves. I'm only going to kill you temporarily. Oh no, bars! My gun is useless! Come back, you'll be even better than before. Uh, uh, bars impenetrable against holy water! Can't squeeze garlic through eight inch gap! Uh, uh. I hope I got the dosage right. Officer Graves, vital signs terminated. I will dispatch corpse retrieval unit. Why don't you dispatch cops to kill Dr. Hemos? Oh, here I am on my way to the hospital. Every time I go through this tunnel, it reminds me of that tunnel of light people are supposed to see. It kind of reminds me of the day I was born. Officer Graves has been mortally wounded at Dr. Hemos' lab. We are picking up communications from his monitoring system. I will patch them in. You see, Officer Graves? And anyone else who might be in there, death isn't so bad. Quick, cast a pause video spell. Let me just liberate this from you. Oh, what are these, Oakleys? Hmm, very nice. Oh my. What an amazing toy. Spray tracks, I've got Suggs on a rampage and Graves and Hemos' hands. You know what this game needs? An angry police chief. Damn it, Graves! The mayor's been up my ass all day over this last stunt you pulled. Is that right, Chief? Well, maybe you'd rather have a vampire up there instead. Officer Walken at Dr. Hemos' lab. Still, I would rather watch this than, say, Queen of the Damned. I, uh, I think the editor fell asleep. Are we just gonna drive the whole way, then? I'm in Hemos' lab. Officer Graves' motorcycle is parked outside. If he's dead, I call dibs. Enter with extreme caution. You are authorized to exterminate Hemos if necessary. Well, let's hope it's not. I've heard of him and he's a museum piece. Oh my god, I just had a thought. If you thought Malibu is dreamy now, just wait till he sparkles in daylight. Ah. Except for the pall of pure evil, perverted human science, and death. Uh, death loves it here. He's got a lot of company. I'm beginning to see why Hemos had to get an escort. I can't see him bringing many girls here. Come on, I've seen episodes of Beekman's World that were scarier than this. You've got mail. There's a body on the table. I think we both know who it is. Draw your gun. Oh, Jeff, yeah, why did I think of that? Under shrouds. Can you think of a single reason why you'd want to reach your hand in there instead of just shooting indiscriminately? They got Val Kilmer! He's dead. Shoot him in the heart with a silver special. We cannot take a chance of reanimation. I can't do it. Sentimentality is not an option. Officer Graves would be a very powerful servant of the undead. Oh yeah, we'd be doomed. Shoot him down. This is the worst thing I've ever had to do. All the nasty planets, why the hell did I have to end up on this one? Planet? What does that mean? Is she an alien? Coming. Let it in. You have corrupted my life's work. Dragon Strike. I have made you destroy your own officer. He was perfectly healthy, you know. Yeah, yeah, pwned. And don't try to find me. I'm far away. Speaking to you from Officer Graves' headset. I also took his wallet and I'm wearing his underwear. Shall we call it a draw? This is no draw. I think so. Oh. Good luck dealing with Suggs. If I have to pursue you to the gates of death, I'm gonna win one for Graves. While I admire your loyalty, Vengeance is not our enterprise. No, choking nurses and criticizing interior decoration, that's what we do. Bulletin. Metro County Hospital. A suspect matching Otis Lee Suggs' description has broken into the hospital. Oh really, was he that hard to track down? I mean, uh, what was the description? Male, Caucasian, six foot tall, um, oh yeah, made of lightning! <laughs> Shazam! His bite wound's gone! Oh, wow, it looks like Agent Snake did have to choke a bitch! Officer Walken is dead. Officer Graves is a servant of the... Well, well, I'm rolling! You are soft-hearted. This is not acceptable to Drax. 
So if you shoot Graves, it turns out he wasn't a vampire. But if you don't shoot Graves, seconds later he's chewing on your fucking jugular. I'm in a lab. <laughs> Soon my army of bronze men will conquer the whole world. <laughs> Silence! There he is. I just found him. He's recharging. Looks pretty inert. This is gonna be easy. And the only thing that could possibly blow my cover is talking loudly to myself. Oh my god, he really did have all his organs ripped out. Oh no, it's Jack Palance! Like Looks like it tickles. Sorry, Suggs, you just ran out of juice. Follow me there. So she had what, five, ten minutes of monologue instead of shooting him? Officer Walken is dead. Otis Lee Suggs is dead. Predatory suicide. You are cleared of responsibility. Well, I better be. This case is closed. Incoming message from the big giant head. You are sworn to absolute secrecy regarding this case. May there be better nights in the future. And remember, folks, future events such as these will affect you in the future. Each contender gets three swings at the Gladiators. In this case, it's Malibu who's whooping it up, but maybe not for long. Brian Hudson's third and final attempt. Wow! Malibu is dead. What a shot by Brian Hudson. And he kicked himself in the head. We shall mourn Officer Graves. We consider this mission a draw. A draw is not good enough. Your services will no longer be needed with tracks. Goodbye. That electric maniac. Oh, be damned. He's got a whole power plant inside him.